you know what the best place is to meet women, high quality women? It's your own reality, your own alternate reality. And by this I mean your own reality when you're fully potent, when you've reached, in my opinion, when you've reached 50 days plus on the street. That's when they just pop out of everywhere. They just, you're going down to the, your grocery shopping, you go down to your normal bar that you always frequent, and all of a sudden there's beautiful girls here everywhere. At work, new girls start at work and you're like, wait a minute, when, when were we hiring all these girls? It's just, it's a crazy thing that I've experienced as well. And I was looking back on my streaks and in the last few years and really for me, like when I reached that 60 day or 50 day plus, that's when I really start to see manifest um, high quality, beautiful girls in my life. The way it works is like this, you decide you're bored and you suddenly decide, you know, I'm going to go to this store to get something or I'm going to go to this, this bar, I'm going to try this bar out. And it's not even going to be a, a conscious like decision that, oh, I'm going to go here because there's girls. You're like, oh, I'm going to go here because I want to experience this. And all of a sudden, there'll be tons of them. There'll be tons of them. This is, I think, the reason why a lot of people who are on long streets to start to like get girlfriends for the first time in their lives. Some of them break their virginity. Some of them meet their long-term partners this way. It's just that you're in a different reality. It's like... Imagine when when you relapse and you look outside and it's like just dull. It's the same thing. The people you meet, the people you vibe, the people you attract into your life are just the same, dull. The people are just low quality. There's no girls at all. Like for me, man, ugh, the worst thing about relapsing is that whenever I go whenever I go to a bar after relapsing, it's just full of guys. The ratios are terrible. Like the the first like Two weeks after relapse, I go to the bar and it's just like tons of guys. Like it's, it's like three to one ratio. It's terrible. But when I go on a long streak, whenever I go to a bar and it's just something I just do on a whim, it's full of girls. And I'm like the only guy there who's like considered masculine and handsome. So all the girls flock towards me. That's what I love. I love going on long streaks, but it's so hard to get that, to get that motivation to tell myself, do not go back to PMO because you're going to lose your reality. You're going to lose this alternate reality. You're going to go back into the dull, boring reality. Let me tell you something, guys. I've never been, I've never gone longer than 87 days. The longest I've ever been. So in 2016, I went 87 days. And that day, in that time, um, what happened? I went on a date for the first time, like a proper date. Um, I met some Random girls at jazz festival. Um, I I think, and sometime after that, also because you accumulate a lot of sexual energy. Um, when I'd start, I'd relapse and broke it, and I started again, and I'd gone on a thirty day streak or something like that. Um, I had my first Tinder date. I a lot of, I broke a lot of personal records with dating, but um, and then the same thing last year, uh, twenty eighteen. Um. I remember when I reached 87 days again, which was the first time I'd done it in like a year and a bit. But um, I remember that time I was going out to places, um, random places like um, this this bar, and I went, I went to London, which is like a, like a top-notch bar, like by the river, uh, where a lot of people from Maiden Chelsea go. And I just saw like beautiful girls there. I got a number from this model, we exchanged numbers, and then this girl held my hand and I messed it up, but just... Basically, it's like a it's like a magic reality. It's like it's like life doesn't open a door for or girls to you until you reach those long streaks. Or it's that's that's one thing that motivates me. Um, I don't care what people say that oh you shouldn't do no fat for girls. I'll I'll do no fat for girls. Hell yeah! It's like everything you do when you're no fat, like the sexual energy is underlying everything. Like your your self improvement, your exercise, everything. It's all about sex. At the end of the day, so it doesn't matter that I, you know you're doing it for the girls because ultimately we all are. We're all doing it to attract a mate, biologically.
And yeah, it's beautiful, man, when you go on that long streak. And for me, like, yeah, the last time I went, 87 days, I don't know, that, that was April, might have been April 2018. Man. It's just the stages as well. Like, you reach, I think it's up to 30 days. You, in my opinion, up to 30 days, you, you get the looks. Like, the older women start to stare at you first. Uh, and then you start getting looks from other girls or other ages as you go longer. Like 60 days, you start to feel, um, you, you start to pick up on the energy of younger girls, um, girls who have a lot of youthful energy. And um, you start to get the looks from them as well. And then um, as you go beyond that, you just start getting to situations where there are girls around you. You just, you don't even have to try. Um, whether it's someone inviting you to parties or you get um, you go to your favourite social place and it's just there. Or festivals, just trying to decide and it's just there. Or it's at the gym, you just bump into someone you, you've seen at the gym. It's just crazy, man. You just meet people. Yeah. I really want to reach... I really want to reach the, the magic number of, like, beyond 90. I reach 87 days twice, but... When you go, like, for me personally, I believe that when I reach 120 days, so the way I'm doing it is, like, there's no PMO, so no porn, and no um, apps, like, you know, Tinder and stuff like that, because they just do the same thing for me. They mess up my dopamine, and I get addicted the, the days after, so... That's all I care. I don't care about sex. I, I, if I have sex, I like orgasm, that's fine for me, as long as I don't force the orgasm. But... Yeah. 120 days, man. I can't, I can only, I can only imagine what kind of women are going to be in my life when I reach that stage. There's definitely going to be models, like, almost certainly, because in 2016, that was, like, my most successful year. Like, I met, met with this model, um, got with her as well. Um, and then I, Dated, not dated, but you know, I saw a few other girls and that, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know, man. I'll see how it goes. I'll see how it goes. But yeah, the best place to meet girls is not necessarily at the coffee shop, the gym, at the bar. It's in your own reality. When your sexual energy is like really potent in a long streak, then it just appears in your reality. Peace.